It's crazy how all the other races, all the other cultures, all the other people around the world is trying to figure out how to come together, how to multiply their wealth by including their peoples and folks that look like them, how to put people on in position that look like them, how to give somebody the game, you feel me, so they can um, modify it and do more with it. But our folks, we figuring out how we could be in competition with each other, who is our uh, adversary, you understand me, who um, we want to compare ourselves to as far as our wealth, as far as our growth, you feel me, that people that look like us. As soon as we see somebody else like us, that look like us, or that's in position like us, we automatically assume they are competition, you feel me. That's just our culture, you feel me. We always trying to make it a competition about who got more, or who doing better, or who had assistance, and this, that, and the other, instead of being like, damn, I got a, a, a business mind. Um, uh, this person got a business mind. They successful. I'm successful. So we should put this together so that we could become more successful and even put other people in position to be successful that look like us. You feel me? But, you know, our culture, man, we just hate to see us doing good. It's like, how you hate to see you doing good? You should see another black man and see like a, a mirror, a reflection. You understand me? It should motivate you to see other people that look like you doing good. People that came from where you came from. I don't understand how we got to this point where we uh, despise seeing each other do good, you feel me? And it could be friends, it could be family, you feel me? It's just something about our culture, you feel me? To see somebody close to us succeed rubs us the wrong way. Instead, it should motivate us, but we find our way to spin it and make it a bad thing, you feel me? I don't understand why, but it's just part of the part of the process that we go through, you feel me? As soon as we turn 18, our mamas and them talking about, you need to get your ass out, you feel me? Or we talking about, I can't wait to get up out of here, you feel me? Whereas in other cultures, the Asian culture, the Latino culture, you understand me? Everybody going to stick around, man. We going to put this shit together and piece it up so that when we do leave, we all going to leave on, the, on on a better note. We ain't going to leave one uh, uh, assisted living or one co-op and go to another one, you feel me? Why would we leave some shit where all five of us paying for a room to go rent another room and pay more instead of us all saving our money, paying less until we get enough money to where one of us could keep the house we in and the rest of us could go get our own shit. You dig? Not us. Hell no, you feel me? We fussing and fighting, you feel me? Tearing up the dwelling, you feel me? Knocking pictures off the wall, straight gangsters, you understand me? Trapping out that mother sucker, you hear me? We going to go full throttle, you understand me? But we got to change the mentality and the mind state, man, you feel me? First, we got to learn to coexist. Second, we got to learn to communicate, you feel me? And third, we got to want just as much for our brothers as we want for ourselves, you feel me? I got to love your kids like I love mine. Maybe not identically, but I want your kids to be successful. I want your kids to be safe like I want mine to be successful and safe. And why wouldn't I? They're young African children. They're part of my tribe. They're part of my, my lineage, you feel me? We are all one, you feel me? feel me and this we showed out here as far as numbers go you feel me we only represent a small percentage of the world so you know damn well we got to stick together you feel me and for sure stop complaining about what we ain't got and this that and the other and stop tearing down our folks our peoples our leaders you feel me i heard somebody talking about martin luther king the other day you feel me and he was like you know let's not forget that you know segregation wasn't as great for black people as martin luther king thought why what did that have to do with him losing his life in the cause to try to make things better even if whatever he intended didn't turn out like he thought it would, or maybe he changed his position along the way, can't nobody not say that he didn't love black folks, that he didn't love human beings, that he didn't want shit to be better for us as a people, as a human race. So why would you bring up some dumb shit about how shit turned out and, and, and how his plan wasn't the best plan? Man, listen, when a person got good intentions and a pure heart, man, you got to give him credit somewhere along the way, you feel me? And I hate to see people tearing down somebody who ain't here to speak for themselves, like you know what I'm saying? That's 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 cowardice to me. You feel me? Why would you attack this person and you know he can't even let you know? Listen, okay, yeah, I was wrong from the beginning. You feel me? But this is what I intended, or this is what I wanted out of it. You feel me? A person can't even defend themselves, and here you is talking down to this man who sacrificed his life. You feel me? For people to come after him, got his ass whooped. Be spit on, arrested, uh, um, um, anything you could think of, demoralized, you feel me? 
All for us, all for our folks, all for our people, you feel me? You can't take that away. You can't minimize that in no shape, form, or fashion. You dig what I'm saying? You can't do that, big baby. It's, it, it's way deeper than that. This life that we live, you feel me? Certain things, man, you can't put no cut on it. It is what it is, you feel me? No matter if you uh, gift wrap it, put it in a gift bag, or you present it butt naked, man. It is what it is, man, period. Point blank, man. So, you know what I'm saying? This is just a little something to wet your beak to let you know, you know, some of the things that be going through my mind, you feel me? This is probably the precursor to my podcast, you know what I'm saying? The gray area is what I think I'm going to call it, you feel me? Because it's always some facts over here, some facts over here, this person's side of the truth, this person's side of the truth, and then there is a gray area that people feel to put into the equation that changes anything, you feel me? Because every situation has a gray area. You can have two of the same characters with two of the same attributes, you feel me, but something's gonna change, something small, some variation gonna make the situation totally different from the next person's, you feel me, it's just like that, you know what I'm saying, and that's called the gray area, you feel me, the part that people don't take into consideration, because a lot of times people is looking from their angle, or their perspective, or their position, you feel me, and if they took a step down, a step back, or they changed, and the lighting to change, you feel me, and they see things in a whole different perspective, you dig, but sometimes we gotta put the sh- our shoes on the other feet and see how other people see things so we can understand where they're coming from not necessarily to say oh you was right but just to say okay i can understand why you see things like that you feel me or some of your argument has some validity to it based on these things that you presented but you know once we think we know some shit or once we got a personal stake in something it's hard for us to bend it's like nigga we don't give a fuck about what it is r kelly bill cosby whoever you feel me we gonna stand firm and stick to our guns because that's just what we want to let be known and when we want to be stubborn about something or when we standing up for something we're not gonna break we don't give a fuck how many facts it is to come with it you feel me we don't give a damn and that's an ignorant position to take you feel me because we want to feel like we standing up for something at the end of the day and ain't nothing wrong with that but stand up to something with some substance Stand up to something that has results. Stand up to something not just for a reaction, but, you know what I'm saying, something that we can actually move forward on or use as a stepping stone to get to another another place. You feel me, big baby? Yeah, man. This ain't nothing, man. Just a little something. I'm just tapping in, man. I love y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? We're going to do this more often. You feel me? We're going to build. We're going to have conversations, man. You understand me? And, and we're going to see how this shit move forward. You feel me? I am the voice of the people, you feel me? You know what it is, the real big baby you dig, and you understand me? We're going to talk about the gray areas in certain situations and certain subjects all the time, you feel me? K.I.